for the first time anywhere in the world, we will have a special focus on ASEAN and the ASEAN Hall, where we uh, combine all the uh, positive aspect uh, of the defence industry from each respective member of the ASEAN countries. In this exhibition is one example where we do not just have to rely on our own uh, allocation, but if we're talking about stability and security of this region, the combined effort of all the countries in ASEAN uh, could be an advantage to us all. Secondly, I'm also um, happy to announce that in the same month, in April, all the ASEAN defence ministers will be travelling to the Pacific Command in Hawaii. So this shows that uh, the exhibition is very timely because for the first time in our history, um, you've got a, a combined uh, delegation of all the ministers of defence meeting up in the uh, US Pacific Command and which shows the focus that has been put into our region when it comes to um, current issues and current defence and security issues. Well, I think we, know, we, we are looking at uh, upgrading of the Nuris. We are looking at the uh, upgrading <coughs> of also the uh, uh, C-130s. Um, at the same time, there are things already in, uh, in the works, which I hope we can leverage as the foundation of the, our defence industry. But it's not so much about procurement. It's about manpower, it's about having a, di uh, a direction and also leveraging with existing industries in our neighbouring countries. SMEO, for example, is involved with, I don't mind announcing, COLT uh, with the Philippines. And if you look at ASEAN as the market for the M4 uh, rifle, I think that makes it worthwhile for us to assemble it and uh, get it going.